Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Kari and while well, today I bring a very special video that I put together with my viewers. So let's get started. So for today's video, I have said we'll have some special guests and today we'll be doing the second edition of Guess What the Anime is About. First time I have done this YouTube video, you guys actually really really enjoyed it. My special guest was my sister who doesn't watch anime and this time I bring my viewers because Believe it or not, most of my viewers actually do not watch anime, which is so funny. <laughs> so basically how this is gonna go, I will choose some images and I will show my viewers and they will have to come up with a whole story about that anime or what they think the anime is about. So I'm very curious to see what someone that never watched anime by looking at the anime picture, what kind of story they can create in their minds. So I'm very excited, so let's get started and see how this will go. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Have you ever watched anime? Like the top ones, you see? Like I watched Naruto and stuff. Mm, okay, so I have to choose well, like I have to choose something that I would think you wouldn't know, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you see it? There's fighting, I guess. Fighting anime. Yeah, yeah, it's a fighting anime with some sci-fi stuff, future-like. Uh, I will say they can fly and stuff. And how uh, do you think they can fly? Probably those boots. Okay. I mean, they, they got like a, a wingy thing there. And why do you think they're flying? I have no idea why. <laughs> There's literally nothing s like saying why. I'm gonna say like some world apocalypse stuff and like they have to help or something. They have a different clothes, right? Yeah, each one has their style. So, to you, what does that mean? They are from the same group or fighting alone? Like, they are not actually uh, looking like they are fighting each other. So, I would say that they are a group, but each one has their own style. So, like, each one has their very unique uh, way of fighting. So, is that everything you have to say about it? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So, you would just say it's fighting? Yeah, a background, they have to fight, and the story goes on. Okay, so what if I tell you it's actually not a fighting anime, and it's actually a sports anime? What? <laughs> Why? And they're actually competitors and they compete against each other. I can try to uh, read you the synopsis. With the invention of anti-gravitational shoes, known of grave shoes, the ability to fly freely has become an everyday experience for the people. This invention has brought the people new ways of living and also a new sport known as flying circus, where participants gain points by either touching floating bias, like they have to touch stuff, or their opponent's back. It's like cat and mouse, but on steroids. I mean, you did a good analysis of the picture. You were able to see like, there's the shoes, they're flying, everything. But I guess it's a bit hard to guess that it's a sport and not fighting. <laughs> yeah, it's misleading as hell. Like, I mean, they have no weapons, if you look at it. Yeah, I guess, but like, you have a hundred magical animals where they don't really need a gun or something yeah it's true yeah well i think you did pretty well and thank you so much for participating <laughs> yes now it's psy and i want to see how you'll do i hope it does even worse than i did i mean i picked one that was pretty hard not gonna lie that was a hard start true, true, true. <laughs> true that hello hi what's up how are you doing i'm doing good how about you i'm doing good too thank you so much for asking are you ready to check what the anime i've given you is about i'm ready we would like to know a little bit more about what you know about anime i've watched five total animes and that's about it okay so that's perfect because maybe you don't have any idea of what this anime is about do you is it i i think i know the name is this your lie in april I don't even know what that one's about, I just know its name. Her Lane April is about music, it's a music anime. Does yeah. it look like a music anime? I don't know, it could be like a really emo band cover. It could be. She has no eye, he looks really emo and is only looking with one eye. They're in some like, kind of post-apocalyptic city? Post-apocalyptic, how do you say that? Post-apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Oh, I said it right. Apocalyptic. Yes. All right. So they are in the post-apocalyptic. So zombies related? I don't know about zombies. I was thinking more like an evil 
corporation or government or something because they're in a city. Oh. At least they have working traffic lights, so something is keeping the electricity on. Okay, so you think this anime is sci-fi? Yes. So chat is saying supernatural avocadoliptic? What? Okay, that's a new genre, I guess. I think the girl is the protagonist and the guy saved her maybe from the government because she's missing an eye. So maybe they're doing like experiments on her or she got in trouble and was being punished. And what about their clothes? They're school clothes. So they're young, they're kids, mm. probably still in high school. So maybe I'm completely over dramatizing and it's just like a normal high school anime. <laughs> Maybe they're like really special individuals. Maybe it's like not sci-fi at all. Maybe it's like fantasy and they're like, one of them's a magical being and they've never met another magical being ever. But then the other one came along and it was another magical being. And so they're like two super people in a group of normal people at a high school. You never know. Okay, so we have two different stories here. What if I tell you that it's none of those? <laughs> This anime is actually a horror anime. Ooh. So this anime is actually about this girl that's called Mamisaki. So I'll read the synopsis for you so it's easier because probably it explains better than I do. Everyone in that school is scared of this ghost girl that um, they think puts curses on the town. Then this character, which is the boy, is transferred to that school and he ends up being the only one who is able to see the truer self. So they become friends and he starts trying to follow her into her life and we discover more about this girl. So it's kind of like also a mystery anime because at the beginning we have no idea what's going on and then as long as that minute goes by, like we get to know a bit more about it. Mm. It's it's super mysterious horror. It's a lot of blood, a lot of deaths. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And actually I cosplayed this girl on my Instagram. Really? Yep. I did. Yeah, so is this what you were expecting? Not in the slightest, as you can tell by my two very different guesses. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funny thing about this type of videos because you guys don't know much about anime and try to guess and then it's something completely different. It's like, Phew, okay, I was totally wrong, but <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> All right, thank you, Sai, for coming. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, hello. Hi, what's up? So tell us a little bit about your anime experience. No, nope, I don't watch no anime at all. At all? At all. At all. None at all. Okay, good to know. <laughs> all right, so, do you see it? Yes, I, I, okay. My guess mm -hmm. is the dude in the middle. The guy in the middle. He's a ladies man, obviously. Look at all the, look at all the women around him. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a ladies man. He might have some kind of power, I don't know. It looks like they're all asleep. Asleep? I'm, yeah, they're, yeah, they're all asleep. So he has the power to... Put women to sleep into like a dreamlike state, I mm. guess. Maybe he kind of, kind of goes like hops, jumps in their dreams. To their dreams. I, I, but he doesn't have no weapon or anything, so I don't. Maybe he's just kind of just chills. Some of the girls, they look like they're from the olden days, but you know, it, it just could be the the fashion at the time. So, is he a time traveler? Maybe, he, maybe he travels in time. Maybe, yeah, maybe travel somewhere, right? So you see those two over there that are black outfit. What do mm -hmm. you recognize those outfits? Looks like maids. They might be maids. Maid outfit. I guess they could be twins. I mean, I guess the only difference would be the hair. Yeah, that's a good guess. What type of genre would you say this anime is about? Maybe it's a fighting anime and he's the one that gives them power the fight so this is actually a psychological drama thriller and fantasy anime there's actually fighting on it so you're not wrong on that so basically the guy is just a normal guy like us in our normal world in the present he doesn't tr time travel he just goes to another dimension or to another like, world does that make sense just poof just poof like hey i'm here just poof, kinda yes. like Something happens, because I'm not gonna spoil, something happens and it goes to this world where it meets all those other characters. And yes, those are two maids and they are twins, so you guessed that. So that's pretty good. Was this what you were expecting? Uh, no, not at all. You did pretty well. You did guess a few things, which was very surprising for someone who never watched anime. I mean, I I'm down to try it, so I watched the first episode. Converting people to anime watcher. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you know, just uh, terrified. <laughs> Why terrified? Tell us about your anime experience. Uh, when I was younger, I thought SAO was a good anime. Uh, <laughs> I don't watch that much anymore, but... What would you say it's like your top three favorites? Saga of Tanya the Evil. Um, 
Wait, the eagle? Is that about eagle? Eagle? No, evil, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I heard Sonic Hedgehog the eagle or something like that. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't understand what you said. Yes, my favorite anime, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> the eagle? Saga of Tanya the Evil. Uh, um, have you ever watched Made in the Abyss? No, and that's the one I didn't want you to give me. Why? Because I don't know what it's about. So that's exactly the one I'm gonna give you. I should have just said yes. Tell us your best story about it. All right, so I know there's a rabbit girl in this anime. I want to say this is like a fantasy type anime, but like not like those cliche isekais. There are these kids and they don't know who their parents are. They just woke up in this massive hole and they're trying to get out of it. That's an interesting guess. So you would say this is a drama? It looks cute, see, so maybe... I was gonna say like Promise Neverland style, but, oh. but I feel like that'd be too much for them. Does it look like a thriller? No, maybe just more like an adventure. Why is there a hole in the middle? Meteor. Well, then where'd the meteor go? Um. <laughs> Just to finished. Uh, God got angry and punched a hole in the earth. That's what happened. That's a hundred percent what happened. <laughs> and just a poof, there was a hole in the middle of our island. Exactly. See, you get what I'm putting down. I, I totally understand you. Yeah. Is this a uh, infinite hole or just the bottom? Oh, I guess it would make sense if there's if it's infinite. What's an abyss? What's the definition of an abyss? Um, it's like the void, like. You fall into something and that's like Trrr. Is there earth around or flat? <laughs> you know what actually I feel like abyss even though an abyss probably doesn't have a bottom I feel like it does What are these kids though? They have no parents right and they want to go on an adventure Right But adventure where? Uh I didn't think that far. Uh, Where? Maybe they're going inside of the hole <laughs> instead of out of it. Maybe there's a world underneath the water in which they meet the bunny girl. I'm just basing everything off of the one bunny girl. <laughs> and do you notice uh, the guy arm? Maybe. I don't know. Arm? Um, oh, right. He hasn't got one. Or it's made out of metal or he's wearing something on it. I have no idea. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> It's a sci-fi adventure, mystery, drama, and fantasy anime. This is like an island uh, that has a hole in the middle. They indeed actually don't have parents. I don't know how you guess that, but okay. And uh, they are very curious to know what's inside the hole. And they decide to go in adventure and go inside the hole. So the abyss is filled with mysterious creatures and relics from a time long past. How did it come to be? What lies at the bottom? Are very positive because you're kids, right? So they don't think anything bad will happen. So they will just, they just go, ju they just go. And then a lot of things happen and you need to ask to know. <laughs> he did guess a lot of things. Better than Psy guessing another? Yes. <laughs> Better than Psy guessing another. That's all I needed. Another. Great. Uh, rude, Psy <laughs> thinks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Psy, but she at least she guessed a few things. Psy <laughs> just says two different things. <laughs> Alright, guys, so this is gonna be the last person for today's video. Hello? Oh, he left. Hello? 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 Oh, hi! What's up? What's up? Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hi! How are you doing? I cannot hear you. You you cannot hear me? You cannot? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 <laughs> hello? Um... Uh, it's okay, Dante. It's fine. Well, thank you for trying to participate though. Someone just joined, so it's gonna be the last person for today. Ghost! Hello? Don't make me do the hello, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Thank you for participating. You are our last participant here on the video. How do you feel about that? Nervous. <laughs> nervous? Why nervous? <laughs> you know I don't like to talk. And I just wanted to do this. I mean, yes. what could go wrong? Your voice is just on YouTube, right? <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. This doesn't make you. This doesn't make you feel <laughs> Tell us about your anime experiences. Do you watch anime? Uh, I used to watch it a lot, but I kind of stopped it because games. I will make this a bit easier for you because Danganronpa is one of the hard animes to try to guess. I'll be nice to you and I'll actually give you two images. So first of all, <coughs> do you recognize this bear from somewhere maybe? 
Uh, not true. I, like, I watch a lot of anime clips on YouTube, and I feel like I have watched some anime clips of this anime, but I can't remember anything. You are my moderator, right? Yes. You watch my streams a lot, right? Uh, I think, uh, yes. <laughs> so, you never saw this be bear before? Oh! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? 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 What are you talking I just, I just watch again on stream and it's on your background. <laughs> oh! Wait, is it? I never noticed! Oh, it is right there! I didn't even notice! Oh my god, what coincidence! Wait! What a coincidence! Oh, I didn't know I actually had this bear. <laughs> I will I'll pretend I didn't hear this, okay? <laughs> so, what a jar of anime do you think this is? Under the name it does say a school of hope with students of despair. Like obviously it's like a school and a school related anime. Okay, so you think they're students? I do think so. Okay, what about the bear? By looking the image on the top, it looks like it's some Kind of a teacher. A teacher, okay. You see the bear, right? Yes. Why do you think the bear has one side different than the other? Some sort of two different personalities. Like the good and the evil, right? Or something yes. like that. Because if you check the bear on this side, it looks like cute bear. But then, ba bang, right? Maybe. Yes. Okay. What type of people do they look like? Do they look normal? Like normal students? Or First, I thought it was like some kind of magical thingy some sort of like enemy close to assassination like you no know, you like i haven't watched assassination classroom but i feel like this is animation could be similar close, yeah what is one thing that usually japanese students always have that makes them all look the same I actually don't know that <laughs> the uniforms right don't don't usually students have the same uniform true and a... do they do they have a same uniform no, they don't. So, you think they are really students? Like, I still feel like they are students, but like, they are no... That's not like an official school. Like a club type of thing, where they learn yeah. something. Okay. Yeah. And you think it would be related to assassination, so killing and fighting and stuff. Yes. So, this anime is a mystery, horror, psychological... Psy... 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 Psy? Psy! <laughs> it's a psy! Psychological school. So you did guess it happens in a school. These are in the not probably. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with my speaking today? Oh my goodness. This is about students from different schools. That's why they have different uniforms. So they basically have to kill each other. Do you understand? Yes. This anime is about killing but also finding who the killer is. This is basically a elite high school that only accepts the most talented students. They are soon confronted by Monokuma, which is the bear, the principal and resident bear, uh, who traps them inside the school. So for them to be able to get out of the school, um, they have to kill each other and they have to escape. However, if the killer is caught, he or she will be executed. And the remaining survivors will be left to continue the death match until only one single Victor, Victor remains. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for being the last participant of this video. Did you enjoy? Did you have fun? I did. It, I did. This was fun. Yay! And I did not was I wasn't nervous at all. <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. I mean, I think we all should be more confident and just do things out of our comfort zone. You did great. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you. I guess that's basically it for today. All right, everyone. So this is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below what do you think. <laughs> do you like this type of videos? Do you like to guess what the anime is about? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And join the Koala family you already know. Don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord server so you can participate in future videos. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all on my next video because this one is over. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. <laughs> Bye.